Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tamara Renee. If you're new, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. So as you can see by the title of today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys all of my favorite makeup products. As of late, I've been receiving a lot of comments and DMs from you guys asking me what are my favorite foundations, powders, blushes, um, concealers, like you name it. And I decided that it would be best to create a video so I can give you guys a link where you can see everything that I love just in, you know, one video instead of, you know, always having to repeat. And um, even if someone were to ask me like, oh, what's your favorite lip gloss? This is a chance for them to know the other products that I absolutely love. Um, I will be showing what I do have here on the screen and in my hand, of course, but I will have everything linked in the description box below. So if you're interested in knowing my favorite beauty products, then keep on watching. All right, y'all. So I never done this before on my channel, but we are going to get into it. You guys know how much I love makeup. I love talking about makeup, like makeup just, you know, it does everything for me. So I was not going to go in any particular order, but I think just to stay on track and to be on top of things, I'm going to go in the order of how I do my makeup. So we're going to start off with prepping the skin, products to prep the skin. First product I want to share with you guys is this bad boy right here. This is from Bobbi Brown. This is their vitamin enriched face base. Um, you can use it as a moisturizer. You can definitely use it as a primer. I use it to, I use it for both. I mean, if it's going to do one, like I'm going to make sure that it does it all, you know, if that makes any sense. So I like to put this on my skin. Now, when I prep my skin, it is completely different from my skincare routine. I will still do my skincare routine, put on all the products that I need to put on. And then I wait a while because I usually don't like wash my face right before I'm going to do my makeup. I don't know, like hear me out. So I'll get up and I'll do my skincare routine in the morning and say I got to start getting ready, say 12 o'clock. Like my skin is already prepped. It's good to go, but I got to prep it for the makeup. So this is when this will come in handy. Another great product I love to use is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I live by this product. I live by this product. I live by both of them, but the Charlotte girl, listen, I've come to realize that um, my skin does change throughout the seasons here in Canada. We have all four seasons. Um, during the colder seasons, I find I do have to use the Bobbi Brown and I mean enriched face base. Like it's going to really do it for me. And I find that the Charlotte um, Tilbury Magic Cream works best for me during uh, the warmer seasons because when December hit and we were starting to get colder weather, um, I found that this wasn't really doing it for me. Then I went like, let me try the Bobby. And the Bobby really did put my face together and I never had any problems since. They're both lightweight. They're not heavy on the skin. Um, a little goes a long way. I like to focus these products mostly here of my face and then I'll put like a tad bit on the forehead but these right here these get the job done for me next we're gonna get right into primers let me tell y'all I was not a primer girl okay when I started out doing makeup I was not doing any primer I would do my skincare I wouldn't prep my skin I would just go straight into doing my foundation and all of that good stuff but I mean nothing happened to my skin but I just feel like as time went on and I started to dibble and dabble more into makeup and learning more things as you know time went on I found that you you know, I should really be using a primer. You don't have to, you don't have to hear me out. You don't have to. But for me personally, I'm like, okay, let me give it a try. So listen, I stand by this product right here. This is the Milk Hydro Grip um, Primer. I love this primer so, so, so much. This is my third bottle. I started off with the mini one just to give it a try. And then that was finished in like, I don't know, a month. And then I bought a second one of the bigger one. And then here we are, second big bottle, but it's my third time using this primer. Um, I absolutely love it. It does have a nice sticky grip to it. So like when I tell y'all, like the name does what it's supposed to do. It is gripping that makeup, okay? I found prior to using primer, my makeup would move. And I mean, like I always crease, you know what I'm saying? Especially in like my laugh lines. Ever since adding this to my makeup routine, this has definitely helped my makeup stay on my face all day. It don't move. Like, I love it, okay? I absolutely love this primer. And another primer, like, listen to me. This is a girl who never liked primer, but look at, look at me talking about primers. Another primer that I absolutely love is this bad boy right here. This is from e.l.f. This is like the dupe to the milk. I got this in PR and I'm like, let me give it a try. And I'm like, what? Wait, what? It's It does exactly what 
that primer does. And I mean, a primer is just, you know, a way to like prep the skin. It's that barrier between your skin and the, the foundation. And it just holds the foundation so it doesn't move like in your, in your concealers too. But this is the power, listen here, power grip primer. Okay. I absolutely love this primer as well. And I like how it pumps out like this. Come on, focus. It pumps like that. And it has a little cover right here. You just put it on. I do go back and forth between the two. Um, I don't favor one over the other. I mean, it, they both do what they're supposed to do. I mean, like this is a good dupe. Um, if the milk is a more on the expensive side and you want something more affordable, this is a good primer to start out with. And I, I, I highly recommend it. Okay. All right, y'all. So we're going to get into foundations. Now I have had my share of going through a lot of foundations. I'm talking about, um, from low end to high end. I do prefer high end foundations because they really do what I want them to do. Um, I, I was using like the Maybelline fit me and I was like, that was just not working for me at all. Um, then I started to use the NYX can't stop, won't stop. That is a really good foundation. I would say like drugstore. Um, I believe it, it's like 20 to $25 somewhere in between there. It's a really good foundation. But at the time when I wanted to make that switch, I wanted something that would just, you know, take the base to another level. So these foundations right here, I got three foundations. I love these foundations so much. Now I don't use them all every day, but they're in heavy rotation. Okay. So I'm going to start off with the first one. This is the Pat McGrath foundation. Now hear me. This foundation is really, really pricey. I believe it's about $100 and I'm like, girl, $100 for foundation. But luckily I got this in PR and when I received it, like, I'm like, what? Now I am not finished and I'm not halfway, but this is a product that I will definitely buy again whenever I finish it. I love that it's so lightweight on the skin. It is perfect for the spring, summer, especially summer season. Um, you don't want anything too heavy, nothing to weigh your face down, nothing too cakey. I mean, how I do my makeup, I, I mean, to some people, it may seem like a lot, a lot of layers went on the skin and whatnot, but I know how to properly blend out my makeup. So it's not heavy and it's not thick, nor is it cakey on my face. But if you're someone who's a little bit worried about that, you can definitely look into the Pat McGrath foundation. It's a very watery consistency, but it is so good. And I love the wide range that this brand has for us chocolate girls. Um, yeah, I really like this foundation. Another one that I love so much and I live by, listen, this foundation I'm not letting go of, and this is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. It came out, I believe, January, 2022. I think so. Um, this, I'm in the shade Macau. Oh, the Pat McGrath, hold up. Um, what number am I? I am medium deep 26 and the NARS shade Macau. I used to use the long skinny bottle. I forgot the name of it, but that one I found was very thick in consistency. And I found that I would always crease in my laugh lines. When I use Miss Patty, I don't crease. When I use this NARS light reflecting one, I don't crease. I don't know what it is. I just find that these, you know, products, I don't crease. And that's something I look for in a foundation. And that's why, to be honest with you, why I stopped using Can't Stop, Won't Stop. Even though the color range is fantastic, the consistency, the coverage, the formula, everything of that foundation, I absolutely love. However, I found that I would always crease. No matter what I would do underneath, I would always crease. The minute I started to use Pat McGrath, the minute I started to use this NARS one, I don't, I don't crease. And if my makeup ain't creasing in my laugh lines, listen, then we, we have a winner. So this is a really nice one to use. I use this throughout the year, no matter the season, it comes in handy for me. Okay. Another thing I just realized I did not mention, I do have normal to dry skin right now. My skin is a bit dry but when the weather gets warmer, my face will go back to normal. And then another foundation that I recently got is this Huda Beauty Foundation. What is this? I don't know the name. Oh, this is the Full Filter Luminous Matte Foundation, full coverage. You do wanna be careful when you're applying this foundation. The first time I tried it, girl, I pumped way too much and I don't know why. And I kid you not, that day, my face did feel cakey. 
it felt cakey and my face don't ever feel cakey. It's just, I used too much foundation. So I know with this one, listen, a pump, a pump on the brush and then use the brush to distribute all over the face will work wonders. Me, I'm a girl, I like to mix my foundations. Um, I like to use these two together. Sometimes I like to use this one on its own. Sometimes I do have to use another shade in this foundation. I believe it's called New Caledonia. I have to mix New Caledonia and Macau to get my perfect summer shade. This is the foundation I used while I was on vacation last summer. And girl, it got the job done for me. But this foundation right here, when I I don't crease. Okay, I don't crease, I don't crease. Together, I don't crease. Pat McGrath, I don't crease. I don't crease. <laughs> Moving on, might as well just continue with the liquids. Concealers, ooh, concealers. Um, Listen, number one, Too Faced right here. You guys know how much I love Too Faced concealer. I feel this is the best concealer out in the market, like hands down hands down when i heard the girlies raving about this concealer years ago i'm like no let me let me give it a try child i have not put this on sorry not foundation i have not put this concealer down butterscotch is that girl okay i love butterscotch i love this um i keep saying foundation i really love this concealer it gets the job done for me i love the coverage i love the color range baby the color range and this is a multi-use sculpting concealer you can literally use this for anything okay i have different shades for highlights um if i want that really bright 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 under eye i got one for, uh, from Too faced um if i just want a subtle you know highlight under the eye i got one from Too faced i use one to you know carve not carve out but to clean up my eyebrows i'm on from Too faced the only thing i don't have one for is to do contour the next um, concealer that I love is from Pat McGrath. This little cutie right here. I just love how small this bottle is. It's so cute. This is in the shade M20. It is, you know, color match of butterscotch. I absolutely love this concealer. I purchased this concealer when I could not get my hands on butterscotch. I'm like, let me give Pat a chance, okay? Because if the foundation is good, I'm going to assume the concealer would be just as good. And trust me, she is. Um, it's very lightweight. It's not as, um, I, I wouldn't say that the Too Faced is thick, but it, do, it does have a thicker consistency compared to this. But if you know how to blend out your liquids, you won't have problems with, you know, creasing and all of that and feeling that heavy weight on your face, as many of you refer it to as. But um, yeah, Pat McGrath is a really good concealer to use. Now, to do my contour, this is a girl, I, I never used to do contouring, okay? It was just a preference. Um, it was just what I didn't care to do at the time. But I mean, as time goes on and I do my makeup, I do come to points where I'm just like, you know what? I think it's time for me to add this. Use this product. Let me start doing this. Let me stop using this. So I'm like, let me get my hands on a nice um, concealer or something to do my contour. This is not a concealer, but this is a foundation. This is from Huda Beauty. This is the Full Filter Skin Finish buildable coverage foundation stick and i have the shade coffee bean 530r um i absolutely love this foundation that i use as my contour i mean when it comes to makeup there are no rules um when it comes to liquids you can you know just play around and have fun with it do as you please so i use this foundation stick and i see a lot of the girls be using foundation sticks as well to contour but this is a really good um stick foundation to use as a contour the color range is really good as well um yeah absolutely love this so next up on the list i want to get into powders we have two categories we have loose powders and compact powders but i'm gonna start off with the loose powders now first powder on the list you guys know how much i love this loose powder these powders are in rotation okay first things first this is the laura mercier translucent powder i use the shade honey i use this to you know set my under eyes after i conceal and i just i love this powder so much like even when i try to dabble into other ones or try something new and i'm like oh i like this and then there will be a day when i'm doing my makeup and i'm going out and it's just not hitting the way i want it to the way this would and i'm just like no i really can't put her down like 
Even if I were to use another loose powder, I find myself going on top with my Laura. I don't know what it is. This powder is so fine that it really doesn't allow creasing to happen and that I really love. This is heavy in rotation in my makeup routine and I have it in my makeup bag. Another loose powder I love is from Huda Beauty. This is in the shade Blondie. Listen, this does have a very sweet fragrance. It reminds me of perfume and it is very thickish, if that makes any sense. Um, compared to the Laura, I mean, this is more fine and this is more on the thicker side, but just the right amount on your beauty sponge can really get the job done. When I use my beauty sponge, it is damp. So I'll dip it into the powder and this is for all powders, but I'll dip it into the powder, blow away the excess powder and then I'll look up and then just blend. Like I gotta move quick because I crease like crazy, like right after I blend, I have to set it. I have to set, it's a must, okay? Another one I absolutely love is this one from One Size. And this is Ultimate Setting Powder from One Size. I have the shade Translucent. So again, heavy rotation. There'll be days where I'll use this and I'll finish it with my Laura. Um, however, these two I do not use together. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's either I go in with this and I'll use my Laura or I'll use this with Laura or sometimes I just use Laura alone. But these powders, child, these powders get the job done. All right, so next up for compact powders. So right after I blend out my concealer, I apply my loose powder and then I set it some more with a pressed powder. This is from MAC and this is called the Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. This is in the shade NC50. I apply this under my eyes. I like to go in with a brush, dust away the loose powder and having this powder helps not to show like harsh lines and separation of, you know, okay, the highlight, the bronzer type of thing. I absolutely love this product right here. I've been using it for a year. I don't see myself putting this down. MAC be doing it for me, okay? MAC is really doing it for me. For pressed powder for my face, I like to use my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. This is in the shade N, sorry, 445. This right here, this Fenty powder, listen, this in combination with that NARS foundation, y'all, listen, vacation last summer, that was the combo. My face didn't move. I had all of the girlies messaging me, asking me, Tamara, what are you using? Your face, your makeup didn't budge. I mean, I don't sweat in my face and I'm so happy that I don't. Even on hot, hot days when I do a full glam, it, I don't feel it, it doesn't affect my, my skin. But for me, I love me a full beat, I love me a full glam, okay? So this powder right here with the NARS foundation, it's a great combo. But these powders right here, when I tell y'all these are my favorite, as you can see, I hit pan, okay? Like this, I'm not putting this powder down. I'm, I'm not putting it down. And nor will I put down my MAC because y'all, these two together, baby listen if you love how Tamara does her makeup listen to her and get these products <laughs> all right so I'm gonna move on to bronzers and blushes so first up y'all know how much I love this bronzer okay this Juvia's Place bronze de bronze bronzer in the shade tan I do have another compact one in the shade dark that one is more for like the winter time, not, sorry, not the winter time, girl, more for the summertime when I do get a tan, you know, I wanna deepen up the, the bronzing and the contour. I wanna look, you know, more snatched in a way. If you contour with cream, you have to set your creams, okay? You have to set your creams. But I really like this bronzer from Juvia's Place. I mean, hit and pan over here. Another good bronzer that I love, listen, when I dropped my updated makeup routine back in 2020, everyone was going crazy over this when I made that video. And um, I got a lot of messages from you guys talking about how much you guys love the bronzer because of that video. And I'm just like, girl, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. This bronzer is from Morphe. It's the shade Trailblazer. I believe Morphe discontinued this. Correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I think they discontinued this. Listen, I 
It always happens to me. I find a really good product that I absolutely love. And while I'm loving it, that's when the brand want to discontinue it. Like what is wrong with y'all? Stop doing this to me. Um, I don't have these two bronzers here. I They're in like other makeup bags, but another good bronzer I love too is the one from Charlotte Tilbury. I don't remember the name. Um, I believe it's the darkest shade that I have. That one is so rich and pigmented in color that you have to go in very lightly with your brush. If you go heavy handed and you put that on, baby, I don't know what you're gonna do. You're gonna have to go in with like translucent powder to help lift that harsh color if you go too heavy with that Charlotte powder. So you do wanna take your time, lightly, lightly pat and then build and work your way. Another good bronzer I love as well is the one from Fenty. I honestly don't remember the name. Ooh, I don't remember the specific name of the bronzer, but I will have pictures here on the screen, but I love that bronzer so much. Mocha Mommy, oh my, listen, Mocha Mommy and that Charlotte Tilbury Dark, I think it's called dark or is it number four? Something like that. Those two for the summertime, baby, listen, <sighs> go run as fast as you can on their websites or your nearest Sephora and get your hands on these bronzers while you can. Now, moving on to blush, we got another <laughs> Juvia's Place blush right here. You guys see me use this all the time. Listen, I live by the products that I find and love. If it works for me, I mean, there's no need for me to try to dibble and dabble trying to find something else for the sake of. This is what this one looks like. It's the one that has the orange. Listen, for all my chocolate girls, if you don't know what blush color you wanna get, get an orange one get an orange one. Another um, blush that I love, this is from Benefit. This is in the shade Butterfly. Now this is another orange. However, it is a shimmer orange blush. I have her on today. You can't really see because I, I mean, you know, I've been doing my thing, but this is a really good blush. But again, listen, get your hands on an orange blush and please drop in the comments below let me know a really good orange matte blush that's out there because i can't get my hands on any oh my gosh you guys i completely forgot i start with my eyebrows first after i prime and stuff i do my brows like i completely forgot about my eyebrows so we're just gonna run it back to eyes i guess um so for eyebrows i like to use my benefit pencil I used it today and I don't know where the pencil went. It grew legs and walked away because I cannot find it. But I'll pop it here on the screen. Um, I really love this pencil. I go through them a lot though. I really go through them a lot. I mean, the pe like it's, it's a good length, you know, it's a good length, but it's about this much product, color product inside. And it's so sad, but I love that it has a spoolie at the end of it. It's the perfect formula. It's not too creamy. It's just right. Um, my eyebrows tend to oil up throughout the day. I don't know why, but it just happens. But this pencil really does the job for me. I love it, love it, love it. But hear me out, y'all. I recently got my eyebrows micro shaded. I got the ombre micro shading and listen, it's the best thing I've, I've done. Okay, best thing I've done. So like I got eyebrows, okay? Do you see my brows? I got eyebrows and I love them so, so, so much. Shout outs to Deandra Trinity. She did my brows. I'm gonna have her information here on the screen. If you're here in Toronto, definitely go to her, check her out. Like I've seen other people do it, but how she does it, like it's just perfect, okay? Listen, my eyebrows, they they here to stay, okay? Really love my brows. Mm. Um, I'm quickly gonna run through eyeshadow. I mean, I really don't have a favorite when it comes to eyeshadows, but I mean, these palettes, they are heavy in rotation. Um, I got three of them right here. These are the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eyeshadow palettes. I have the Soft Glam. I have the collaboration with Emreezy. And of course, the collaboration with Jackie Ina. I love these eyeshadow palettes so much. Eyeshadow palettes from ABH, like all together, like in general, they're so rich and pigmented and I just love them. Another eyeshadow palette I like to use as well. This is from Sigma. This is the Sigma Ambiance eyeshadow palette and I love the colors in here as well. This one, it's more on the chalky side. So, I mean, you really gotta 
put your arm, your wrist, your hand into that color with your powder and just keep building, keep building, keep building until you get the color that you desire or the shade that you desire, how you want your eyeshadow to look. Now, when it comes to mascaras, honestly, y'all, I don't have a favorite. I mean, I really don't. I don't have a favorite when it comes to mascaras. I mean, they get the job done for me. But the two that I use, I got these in PR and I'm just like, might as well just use them. This is the NARS Climax um, Mascara. And I also have a Lancome Idol Lash. These I use for my top lashes. Now, even though I don't have a favorite for my top lashes, hear me out. I have a favorite for my bottom lashes. This bad boy right here, I didn't know that my bottom lashes could look like this. Like I had no idea. This is the MAC Cosmetics Extended Play Jigga Black Lash Mascara. I use this for my bottom lashes. So that's that for um, mascara eyeliner, liquid eyeliners. I really love the e.l.f. Expert Liquid Play Eyeliner. This is in the shade jet black i love to you know do my wing but as of late i've been loving the look of brown eyeliner on me this eyeliner that you see right here this is the cat von d uh, this is the tattoo liner it's waterproof this is in the shade mad max brown love it love it love it now for my waterline i really love the look of brown that's what i've been using for the longest time and this is the nars high pigment longwear eyeliner and this is in the shade mambo honestly when i put it on it just makes my eyes pop even more and makes my eyes look more brown than they are i just love the look of brown it's it's it gives the pop and but it's very subtle it's not too harsh you know what i'm saying but i just really really love the look of brown eyeliner on me absolutely love it so my lashes i like to get them off of amazon i have them linked in my storefront down below my eyelash glue i use duo it's the black one where is she oh she's right here this is the lash glue i use and you just open her up and then it has that flat wand. So yeah, this is what I use to apply my lashes. When it comes to setting sprays, okay, we cannot forget setting sprays, okay? Now I like to use multiple. First up, we got the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I absolutely love this setting spray right here. I live by this setting spray. I like to use this right after I apply all my powders and stuff, right before I get into the eyeliner and lashes. I like to spray my face with this. This helps to calm down the look of the makeup. It helps to reduce the powdery look that is on my face after applying all that powder. This sets all the makeup into the skin and I love it love it love it love it so much this ain't coming out now after i go in with my morphe i like to lock everything in including that setting spray with another setting spray and the other one that's in rotation that you hear me talk about all the time and you hear the other girls be talking about it too this is the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray party all night stay all day you hear that listen Listen, at first when I used it, I didn't like how it made my face feel. But when I continued on with the night, I'm like, yo, makeup didn't budge. Like it was in place. Absolutely love this setting spray. Another good setting spray that I love is from Milk. This is the Milk, Make Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. Love it, love it, love it. And shake her up and then spray her this one i really do got to take my time like right before i you know set it i have to do a test spray to make sure that it's spraying out and not spitting because i don't want any large blobs of setting spray on my face because i don't want it to mess up my makeup like i really don't i guess it's lips um i really don't have girl i'm lying i'm lying when i say that for lip pencil um i got two that i love so much one of them is the makeup forever limitless brown pencil and then i got this buxom power line plumping lip liner this is in the shade creamy chocolate these two i absolutely love i also use mac chestnut i do have the kkw and i'm so sad it's discontinued but um shade three new three is that what's called number three um another one i absolutely love is trendsetter from morphe love those um lip liners for like the dark 
type of look to shade in to you know give that ombre look i do love the charlotte tilbury foxy brown i love um kkw nude 2 and 2.5 i also love mac cork the list goes on for lipstick i do have a one-time favorite and it's this beauty right here Sadly, 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 she is discontinued. This is the ABH Matte Lipstick and it's in the shade Nude. That's the name of this. Listen, that, that's all I got left of her. That is all I have left of her. And I've been pinching like crazy because when I noticed that I could not get my hands on her anymore, I'm like, okay, let me try to venture out and see if I can find a dupe. AKW, um, I also love uh, Nude 2.5. I like two, 2.5 and three, even though they're discontinued, but I'm still putting it out there. Now for lip glosses, y'all. When it comes to lip glosses, I got a lot. I'm always buying lip glosses. Sometimes I'll do a lip liner and a gloss combo. Sometimes I like to do the full, you know, lip combo with the liner, lipstick, and lip gloss. For lip gloss, um, I love the Kasia lip glosses. This is the clear one, but you guys hear me rave about honey, honey and milk tea. I love those. And another good um, lip gloss I like to use is from NYX. It's the Butter Gloss, I think that's what it's called, in the shade Madeline. Absolutely love Madeline. On top of this ABH nude lipstick, oh my goodness. And then the lips, the lip gloss I'm loving at the moment right now is from Sephora. Oh my gosh, this is the, what is it, Glossed Gloss? The name is rubbing off, but this is in the shade Not Today. And I also have this in Yes Honey, and I have it on right now. But let me top up because, you know, from talking the gloss tends to go away. Love this lip gloss. Oh, and I do wanna mention these two lipsticks. I completely forgot I had them in front of me. These are from a UK brand called Vive. She has a nice, like she has a good line, okay? And the shades of her nude lipsticks are just out of this world. I have Coming In Hot right here and I have 90s. I am wearing 90s. And I do have two more. I don't remember the, the names of them, but I bought four of these nude lipsticks. And I mean, when I open them up and have them side by side, they all look the same but trust me when you put them on there's a different shade okay it's a different shade of nude different shade of nude all right you guys so that brings me to the end of today's video i had so much fun going through all my makeup products absolutely love it love it love it i will have everything listed in the description box below drop in the comment sections let me know what is your favorite makeup product it doesn't matter the category let me know what's your favorite um that you think would work for me because i don't mind dibbling dabbling in some makeup you know because i love makeup so let me know um i really hope you guys enjoyed this this video drop your comments below hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell to be notified whenever i upload a video so you never miss a video and also give this video a big thumbs up come on follow me on instagram at tamara renee follow me on tiktok at tamara.renee and keep up with me on my blog at www.tamarenee.com thank you guys so much for watching i love y'all and i will catch y'all in the next one bye <laughs>